Nutrition coaching is the absolute best job in the world. You get to use your passion for nutrition and fitness to help people completely transform, make money doing it. And the best part is you get to work from absolutely anywhere you want in the world, which is what I'm gonna talk about today. Today I'm coming to you live from sunny Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm currently on a workcation. And today what I wanna show you is an inside look how to actually pull this off, the tips and strategies you need to do it so you can make money while still working away, be flexible with your time, and really benefit from the best aspects of online nutrition coaching. And make sure to hang around to the end of this video for my absolute best tip. So without further ado, let's dive in with tip number one. Starting with tip number one, focus on one thing. So obviously you're gonna be on a trip so you don't wanna be working the entire time. The best thing you can do is focus on one thing in order to grow your business and focus on one thing in terms of keeping up with your actual coaching. So when we think about running an actual online nutrition coaching business and growing our business, it is a business so we need new customers. So when it comes to your social media content and actually growing your business, we always want to focus on if anyone new messages us, that's the priority. New leads, people that are actually interested in raising their hand and interested in what we have to say and offer. We, you know, talk to them. If that's not happening, the next thing is probably focusing on one thing with the social media content. We can't be operating on all, all cylinders here because that's not um, going to work because we don't want to be working the entire time. Outside of that, in terms of social media content, maybe you focus on one thing. You're in a new situation and scenario and new scenery, maybe posting lots on you know Instagram stories because it's easy to do is a strategy. That's something that I've done this trip. I know Amy, who is doing a lot of nutrition coaching, my wife in the cancer recovery space, she's been able to do and keep up with. You really want to focus your energy on one thing. We're gonna talk about adjusting expectations later on in the video as well, but the clearer you can get around you know, just one thing instead of all of it, the better off you'll be because you have focus and priorities and you'll be able to keep up with growing your business while still serving your clients. Okay, so building on the last tip of not wanting to work the entire time, you definitely, with tip number three, wanna schedule what you can. I know in the past people have always said, Mark, you do such a good job of like staying on social media. I seem like you're you're everywhere and that type of thing. This baby's at this microphone. One of the things that I do do is number one, prioritize what absolutely needs to get done. But the second thing is schedule absolutely everything in terms of social media content to stay present. There's a bunch of things that you can do in advance. One of my biggest priorities right now has been my YouTube channel, as you're watching right now. And I made sure in advance to schedule at least a short a day in advance because there's things that you can do. Things like on Instagram, be it like a reel or something like that, tougher to schedule, although there are some developments coming out right now to be able to do that. But other than that, if you can just stay ahead of the game by scheduling what you can in terms of still posts, emails, that type of thing in terms of you know your social media content and outreach to continue to get leads, your business can still grow while you're working remotely, while not having to spend all of your time doing this type of stuff. And that to me is the best of both worlds and something that you should be focusing on. Absolutely, so schedule what you can, you will get far ahead, you will leverage technology while not having to you know spend the entire time working. One thing you definitely need to keep up with is going to be your actual coaching and working with the clients that you're currently working with. I mean, there's room for you and strategies in place to be able to take a break. But for most of us, if we want to pull off this workation thing, we want to keep up with the client fulfillment side of things, still work with clients while being away in a different location. And to do this and to be able to pull it off, you need to have rock solid expectations around when clients will check in, when you'll respond to them, and really tighten that window so that we don't spend all of our time on a laptop. And to do this, this is how you pull it off. So the first thing you need to do is your clients need to know exactly when they're gonna check in. So for example, if most of your check-in days are on Monday, they need to know that they have to have everything submitted by 9 a.m. so that you can narrow your check-in window and when you're actually doing it to the point where you sit down, you start your check-ins, you address everything you need to, everything's right in front of you so you don't have to spend all of your time doing that. In a typical work day for an online nutrition coach, you could space that stuff out, do some check-ins at that point, do a little bit later. But since we wanna narrow everything and make it super focused, we want everything all submitted and in place for us to sit down and do all of the check-ins all at once. And you can pull this off with having rock solid expectations when clients should check in and really minimize that time. If you have little ones around like we do, 
Um, sometimes it's ideal to do that at night once everyone goes to bed. Um, but in reality, what you want to do is just make sure that you're narrowing everything so it's all at the same time. Best thing you can do, narrow the actual coaching window, do the fulfillment that way, keep up with things so that you can still serve your clients and make money while you're working from a different location. Okay, so tip number four here, this is gonna be a bit of a deviation from the rest of the coaching tips, but super important for nutrition coaches because you're healthy individuals and you wanna you know, enjoy yourself on vacation, but also not be too far from your normal. And the fourth tip is going to be the right accommodation. So I always encourage people to book something like an Airbnb where you can, especially if you know little people around, it's nice to be able to have more control over your meals and that type of stuff. Obviously, just like our clients, you're not gonna avoid eating out, but if you're doing it three times per day, that can be something that just, you know, it, it, it starts to wear on you a little bit. So in the effort to really enjoy our workation, having more flexibility around what you eat and being able to control that kind of stuff makes a big difference. Airbnb is perfect for that. Uh, on the training front, one thing that's kind of interesting about this trip uh, for me specifically, uh, typically I would be you know, running around to find a barbell and a gym like some sort of crazy person, but I didn't do that this time. I actually just, the amount of training I typically would do in four weeks, I've been tracking my volume religiously and did it in three weeks and took the entire week off as a deload, did tons of hiking, stayed active. Um, so, you know, that kind of thing was helpful, but finding a place where you can have access to a gym to get a couple workouts in as well, you know, makes the workation go over better. With that being said, you know, also booking accommodations that are like walkable, you have access to, you know, a grocery store, that kind of stuff, and you can stay active makes a big difference. Again, it's like trying to take elements of your normal life that you enjoy that make you you know productive and healthy while still having a break from the normal enjoying maybe some different weather that type of thing and kind of going from there so accommodations are big access to you know things that keep you productive and healthy are important so the right accommodations are, are definitely a big part of that so i hope you find that helpful okay so the last tip here is just to adjust your expectations you are on you know, a semi-vacation after all. You are doing this to be more flexible and enjoy yourself in a different environment. You don't wanna be working all the time, which means you don't have to be completely on all the time. So take your notifications off your phone, take your email off your phone, respond to only things that you need to. It's important to have those expectations with your current clientele. So one thing you could do is if you wanted to have a full-on vacation is you would just tell your clients that you know, you're not gonna check in with them for a week. Take the week off, set their plan for two weeks, be crystal clear as to when you're gonna resume check-ins. But for a lot of us, if, especially if you wanna do this more frequently, you probably still check in with them, but just have expectations around, you know, let's try to keep our contact for within the check-in and only the check-in, anything you know more pressing. It just doesn't need to be talked to about this week, that kind of thing. If it is something that absolutely needs attention, be it you know a client is in a competition prep or has something super pressing that they you know are uh, preparing for going on, maybe it's one of those things where you encourage them to, hey, I'm still available here, but if you need to get a hold of me, what you gotta do is send me an email with urgent in capital letters in the subject line. For a lot of people, that's just gonna make them rethink sending that kind of correspondence and that type of thing. Your clients wanna support you through this type of thing. They know how hard you work and how much you're there for them. For most people, they wanna see you be able to do this stuff. So they will support you in that, especially if you're clear around the expectations. But outside of that, you just gotta do what needs to be a priority. The things that you know will, you know, if you peel everything back, what are the things that really push your business and keep things going in terms of fulfillment? And just focus on those things and things, you'll be able to keep with up, up with it. You'll be able to enjoy yourself in a different location and still make money. So best of all worlds. But those are my tips on how to be, really nail your workation as an online nutrition coach. This is a, a thing and a goal that Amy and I had three years ago when we went to Hawaii. We had the goal of spending an entire month of December in Hawaii. And Max was around uh, nine months old, almost the exact same age as Madeline this time. This is something that we wanted to do more and more frequently. We did it back then. Uh, we wanted to do it again and we're able to pull it off, albeit this time with much bigger businesses 
and a second baby, and it was so nice to be able to do it. These are the strategies that we both use to keep on top of things and find that middle ground and balance. And you know, it worked and it was fantastic. And I was even talking to Amy, like she did really well while she was here. So like in terms of business wise, which is just so, so amazing. For me personally, like to be completely honest, the beginning of winter in Canada is really, really tough for me as the seasons change. So being able to do something like this that breaks it up just motivates me and makes me so happy and content and feel super fortunate to be able to do it. So I was happy to be able to do it. You know, it's just really like fills my cup to be able to do it a second time and especially right now. And it's gonna just set me up for the rest of the winter. So, you know, it, it really makes a big difference. Now, if you found those tips helpful, I'm really, really glad for you to be able to pull one of like a situation like this off a vacation as an online nutrition coach, you probably need to make more money. And in order to do that, you have to uh, have the right pricing strategy for your nutrition coaching services. So the next video I want you to watch is this one I have linked up right here on how to set the perfect price for your online nutrition coaching. Check it out right now and I'll see you in the next video.